Hello viewers, this is uh, Embassy Network Television. We are glad that you are watching and we are glad that you are with us. Uh, as usual, we bring you very, uh, very interesting programs. You know, majorly we are interested in things that promote the kingdom of God. We have uh, quite young people who are ready to share with us their experiences with God as we tackle the topic, can a youth serve God? Is it possible for a youth to serve God and remain standing? You know, I started serving God when I was 12 years. That is when I was baptized. I've been serving him uh, for over 30 years. And uh, is that something that can be possible in our generation, in our current generation? Do the changes of times also bring about changes of behavior or we remain to be the same people? Does God make sense in the 21st century? That is one of the areas we want to tackle this morning. And uh, this hour I'm privileged to have uh, uh, quite uh, many young people. Some of them are pastors. Uh, some of them are, uh, most of them are graduates and others are study students at, at the university. I will welcome them to share with us their names and then later, later we will begin discussing our, our topic of interest. Maybe if we begin uh, with you, you can tell us your name and probably your profession and uh, what you currently do. Amen. I'm grateful to be part of this program that is uh, meant to create an awareness for Christ in the lives of the people. My name is Pastor Bakari Douglas. Uh, professionally, I started a uh, procurement as my profession, but currently, in God's wisdom, he again chose me to serve in the capacity of a pastor. Amen. Thank you. We have our sister next to there, my daughter, but we call her sister in this program. Amen. Uh, excited for this opportunity. I can't wait to start serving the youth and also talk widely to many nations in this life. My name is Sandra Kerubo Mageto. My profession that I did in school is communication under electronic media segment. Thank you. Thank you. We have our young man on the other side. Thank you for this privilege. It's, uh, I'm so much humbled. I'm Obando Tyson, currently a fourth year student uh, of Kisi University, pursuing bachelor's in gender and development studies. And uh, there are so many things which are competing to kill young Kenyans. I strongly believe serving God is the way to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have our, our daughter the other side. Praise God. My name is Thelma Tanko, and I'm so privileged. I'm so grateful to God for this opportunity to serve him. And I believe in this season of revival is when uh, God is calling us as youths to serve him because we've done everything else out there and now it's time to come back to Christ. Yeah, so I have a background in statistics and uh, by profession I'm a statistical data analyst. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we get behind there. We have another one. Yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. I want to thank God because I know we have been called to serve him and it is possible. I can attest to it. My name is Christabel Mora. I graduated, I did social work and community development, but currently I'm doing business. You're blessed. Thank you. Let us serve our young man the other side. I'm Clinton Nyagaka. I'm a graduate. I majored in BCom finance option and I can't wait for the youth to be given an opportunity in the church. Majorly, we are used to the elders running a lot of things in the church, but it's a nice opportunity for the youth also. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, we have uh, one of our panelists there. Let him uh, tell us his name. Good morning. morning. My name is uh, Tony Blair Nyakundi Dan. Uh, I have done Bachelor of Arts in Social Work and Community Development. And uh, I'm very grateful that uh, we have been given this opportunity as youth that we should serve God. For a long time, the youth are known for the bad things, not only in Kenya, not only in Kisi, but worldwide. When uh, something bad is mentioned, the thing that comes to your mind is our youth. But uh, we have been given this opportunity to change that. 
to change that and it's it, it it it's it is time for us to serve the Lord and it is time for us to spread the word of God. Thank you very much. Good. Um thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome back now. Having uh, introduced my panelists, um, uh, let me now go back to them once again. Uh, gladly, all of them are young people. They are youth. They are within the youth bracket, and they have many, many years to, to, become, to be considered elders. Some of them are, are in their 20s and their early 30s. Therefore, we, we, we have an area we are discussing, and... Uh, one of the questions that has been raised by majority of you is, uh, uh, can a young person really serve God? Can a youth serve God? That is the question we are, are answering this morning. And uh, you boasted it to me, but I want to give it back to you because you are youth and you are serving God. How, how do you find the experience? Is it an experience that you can discourage your fellow youths not to attempt, or is it something that you feel that can be done by every youth? Is there joy in serving God? Yeah, that, that is, I, I post it back to you. Anybody who can respond to that? So thank you for this opportunity. It's a wonderful question among the youth. I stand on the question and I agree. Young Kenyans can serve God. Even the scripture itself, it clearly tells us that uh, from the book of Psalms 119, it clearly tells that uh, how will a young man keep his way pure? There is a, a terminology young. Young is a youth. So I believe and trust that uh, young, the youth can serve God diligently for them to secure their destiny, for them to secure whatever God has granted within their life. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We, we still have more time. That Anybody that can respond to that, please? Okay. Feel more free to uh, tell us uh, what it, it is. Uh, what is your experience in serving God as a young person? In journey in Christianity, what I can say according to myself is uh, it is not easy. You'll fall off and come back again. But the moment you stand firm and say, this is the journey that I want to start and finish, that is the moment you start reaping the benefits of serving God. You can't do halfway. You can't be lukewarm in this situation. You just have to stick to the plan and stick to the journey. But what I can guarantee you, it's a journey, and it's not easy. You need to learn, and you need to be patient enough to understand what your destiny and. If you're a youth right now and you haven't really accepted that you want to follow Christ, this is the opportunity that you can do. I wish I knew this early enough. I would have been way far. But because uh, out here from the social media and the platforms you watch, we see that, you know what, I'd rather do other stuff instead of serving God, or I'll serve God later. But I understood that the moment you start knowing God, the earlier the better, the more your destiny is profound, and you'll see so many things that what God wants to use you to help this nation. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, um, you know somebody out there is wondering, what exactly are you talking about serving God? You know, there are people who do a uh, few other things, and somehow they believe that could also be service to God. And there are others who are humanitarians, you know, they offer services to fellow humans and they believe strongly that is service to God. Is that exactly what you mean? Or how, how are you serving God? I've heard Sandra say, I wish I knew this earlier. Meaning, she was doing something else, but she's now doing something else. And this that she's currently doing is what makes us feel like, I wish I knew this early. So meaning what she's currently involved in doing is much better as compared to what was happening before. What, what can you say behind that? What do you think about that? Um, what I can respond to that question, you know, most of us say that uh, most people, not only the youth, even the elders, that when you, go, when you do good, you are serving God. Yes, it is true. But some of this good that is done out here is done out of people want to show themselves, want to show off 
that we are doing this, that we're supposed to be recognized. Uh, personally, my experience, I will agree with Sandra, that uh, for so long, I did not know the importance of following Christ, the importance of being involved spiritually, mentally, physically. That is the path that we, most of us, forget. That we need to be there spiritually, physically, mentally. There is this notion, allow me to use a little bit of Kiswahili, that kwenda church si lazima. Sinajua mungu. That is what most youth say out here. But how will you know God if the scripture is not read to you? How will you know the scripture if you do not go to church? Because I believe there is an, there is an order of how things should be done. That you yourself cannot read the Bible and understand it the way it's supposed to be. There is someone God has appointed f for you so that you can understand it properly. So being serving God means you have to be there physically, number one. Huh? You have to be there mentally. You have to be there spiritually. Because if these three things don't agree, the body, soul, and mind, then they will be in conflict. I'll be at home saying, I know God, but tomorrow someone will call me for clubbing, and I will run. See, but don't ajua mungu. See, kujua mungu ndio important. But no, this, if, if we go that way, the body, mind, and, if the body, mind, and soul don't agree, there is two or one which will conflict with the other. That is my take on that. Yeah, the, the, uh, uh, the, the reality is, you know, the way we were created by God, you must serve something. Meaning, if you are not serving God, you must be serving something. But you have to critically look at it. What is the, the end result? What is the destiny of what I'm doing? Serving God may appear to be ancient and archaic. But you know, one of the things that is clear in the scripture is that um, there is nothing new on earth. What we are seeing is just a repetition. There are a few things which are constant. And that makes me think like a youth can really serve God. One of the things that is constant that, that has never changed is God. God has never changed. Um, times can change, but times don't change God. It is times that change. The human being that you are seeing today is the same human being that was created. From the days of Adam, youth existed. God existed. The earth existed. That's why the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9, there is nothing new under the sun. If Daniel was able to serve God, Obando can serve God. Therma can serve God. If Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stood while they were young people, any young person can stand. That is my conviction. Joseph was a very young man. Everybody that God called, Abraham, he was called when he was a young man. He had no child at all. He was even convicted before marriage. Jesus served God on earth as a young person. That tells me that uh, God has interest in the service offered by young people. The one that the Bible says that serve God when you are still strong and young. Yeah, I, I, I think nothing new as such. To see young people serving God is not a surprise. It is actually what it's supposed to be. <laughs> It's what it's supposed to be. And uh, let, let, let us go to one of our banalists, uh, Clinton. What, what, what is your take o on this issue? Serving God when you are young. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. I still think, even in the Bible, there was a certain time God said when they were going for battle, they needed the young and the able to go fight for the Lord. Yes. So also I think the youth can be given the opportunity to serve God while they're still young. They can be nurtured. A lot of talent is in the youth. They, you can have a talent in singing, like my sister here. You can also have a talent in playing the keyboard. You can be a drumist. So I still think there are a lot of opportunities for the youth. You can't really say you have to measure, you to be a pastor to serve God only. 
there are still a lot of opportunities. You can also use the social media to create awareness with the youth and uh, maybe going out for seminars, telling the youth more about God, the beauty in being in church, singing for the Lord. Yeah. Okay. Can, I, I see your, your sister as a, yeah, a serious uh, point. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. So uh, if I should answer the question, like how do you serve God? I think if you go back to the basics, when, when, when we talk about church, it is a, a platform where everyone is supposed to be. And some of the gifts that we receive, how can they function outside the church? Some of the gifts, they function in church. So, and when we were brought up, I think uh, the foundations of Christianity that have been given is when our parents used to take us to church. So I will realize I, I have a gift of singing when I go to Sunday school, I'm being given an opportunity to, to sing, you know. And somewhere in, 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 the, in the Bible, Paul says, uh, people carry the form of God, but they don't have the godliness. So I, I can't say that I'm serving God in another way if, if I can't think of the foundation that I was being given is like, I have to go to church. Church is where everything about God is being nourished. Yeah, so. Good, thank you very much. We are still tackling the same, same uh, point. Can a youth serve God? And today I brought to you, youths that are serving God, as a practical example that a young person can serve God. And they are expressing to you their joy of service. They are telling you how it is like to serve God. What a joy. What a path time. What an opportunity. Let's hear from Therma. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity once again. And uh, for me, uh, I believe in Romans, when uh, you give your life to Christ, he gives you the grace to serve him. Yeah, once you confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior in your life and you, you're born again, you automatically receive the grace to serve God. So there are so many uh, ways that you can serve God. Yeah, I can uh, agree with my brother Clinton that uh, you can serve God with your talents. Yeah, even, you know, there are some uh, situations where you get people, not only in church, but even out there, you can get someone who is uh, stressed or depressed and talk to them, you know, encouraging people, singing, um, uh, bringing souls to Christ, even telling someone like Jesus loves you, or even smiling to someone. Maybe they needed that smile to be uh, okay, or that hug, you know? That's spreading the love of Christ, and that is serving God. So that's my point of view in serving God. And the moment you give your life to Christ, you start building that relationship with God. And on the process, when you have that uh, koinonia with the Holy Spirit, he will uh, reveal to you on where you should serve and what you should do. Yeah, and as well, if uh, you can't hear God by yourself, we have uh, prophets, apostles, pastors who hear from God who can guide you. So that's why it's very important for you to have um, a church, a family where you belong to. Because again, the Bible tells us that we should meet and fellowship with one another. That's my point um, that I can say. Thank you. Yeah, let's get uh, the view of uh, Pastor Bakari being a youth pastor. Amen. Um, I'm also very grateful for this opportunity because uh, uh, the current society has portrayed it to youth that uh, serving uh, uh, God while youth, then it means you are not up to date. The youth and the society currently is dotcomizing everything. And uh, when you are seen as a youth serving God, then it means you are not so informed and you are not so learned. So the society has taken it as if those who are not learned, those who are deemed to be useless, are the ones who are supposed to serve God. But it is a time when, when I'm looking, uh, Pastor said the aspect of Jesus Christ that he served while he was young. And uh, while looking at the offices that the Holy Spirit ordained on earth, as a person, as a youth, 
you can serve God in various capacities because so many people believe that serving God, you have to be a pastor, you have to be a prophet, you have to be an apostle. But there are so many areas in the Bible where you can serve God in your personal capacity because it is the Holy Spirit that can ordain us. We can attest from our personal experiences because we have had our past and we are living in the present uh, uh, times when we are serving God. And from the comparison of the two, we can attest that we are far much better than what we used to do. In the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14, going downwards to 20, uh, 19, 20, and 21, the Bible speaks of uh, a vessel in the house. That means while you are dedicated to serve God or to, for a calling to serve God, God in his wisdom makes you a vessel in a particular area to serve him. It can be singing. To come and be, uh, uh, maybe you are a teacher, because nowadays we have so many youths who have turned up to be very good teachers of the Bible. And therefore, I believe serving God is not only limited to pastoral duties, but it's also extensively into various activities. Down in that verse, going, reading verse 20 and 21, it speaks of that you, you flee from lust, and then God will make, in his wisdom, will help you to spread love, charity, and so many other things there. And in that capacity, you shall have shown the difference to the world that being a youth and serving God is so, 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 so valuable. And uh, we have read about the aspects of Daniel, Meshach, Abednego. Those are great men who served God at their young ages. And what we read they did in those times is so powerful that even the older people were unable to do. So I think the purpose of God and as our brother Tony said, that God is a God of, of order. And uh, when he says that serve God while you are young and strong, then it means that at that capacity when you are young and strong, you are able to exploit the power of God extensively to the world because you are energetic and your spirit is, is, is active so much. So I think to me, serving God while uh, young is not foolishness, but it is what the main intent of God was to humanity.